Moving on, in the worst drought in southern Africa in a century, villagers in Malawi are digging for potentially poisonous wild yams to eat as their crops lie scorched in the fields. There have been no rains in large part of Malawi in April and crops have dried up due to extended heat wave conditions. Malawi is one of the world's poorest countries and a majority of the population depends on rain-fed agriculture for food. The food World Food Program has said this year's drought, exacerbated by the El Nino weather phenomena, is affecting 44 percent of Malawi's crop area and up to 40 percent of its population of 20.4 million people. According to Malawi's Department of Disaster Management Affairs, about 5.7 million people will need help to get enough to eat between October and March. Our situation is very dire. We are starving because of the poor rainfall. The maize wilted while being knee-high such that we did not even have green maize. We have a lot of problems here and these children are surviving by the grace of God. The situation is equally dire around 250 kilometers south of Salima in Chikwawa area near the commercial capital Blantyre. Uh, in order to be able to import maize on time, um, the government has been asking WFP to import from neighboring countries uh, and it's necessary onto the wider international market. Drought-like conditions have slashed this year's maize crop output in Malawi by 23 percent from that of last year. It is the third consecutive year of poor harvest after damage caused by Tropical Storm Anna in 2022 and Cyclone Freddy in 2023. Impacts of El Nino include a 40% increase in moderate cases of acute malnutrition in children aged under 5 and a 23% increase in severe cases. President Lazarus Chakwera appealed for $200 million in food and aid in March. Now that is when he declared a natural disaster in 23 of Malawi's 28 districts because of drought. The Disaster Management Department is using government and international aid to buy and distribute maize to affected communities. This will cost about $1.1 million. That is what Director Charles Kalemba says. Five countries in Southern Africa have declared a national disaster over the El Nino-induced dry spell. At least 27 million people are affected in the region where many rely on agriculture to survive. Nila India on Saturday sent 1,000 metric tons of rice as part of humanitarian aid to drought hit Malawi. External Affairs Ministry spokesperson Ranthi Jaspal on social media X said a consignment of 1,000 metric ton rice departed today from Malawi to address the consequences of the severe drought caused by El Nino phenomena.